Johnny Cuba had dropped anchor, waiting till he wasn't seen. Nobody in sight. That's what I like. Trying to slip in close at a port and uh, <laughs> meet my business pals. <laughs> a Johnny Cuba's idea of a business pal was, like himself, a gangster. Zebedee was out, as he'd been told, looking for ships or steamers, even fishing boats that might need a tow. Anything that might please Captain Zero. Ah, oh, Johnny Cuba. Oh dear. Well, well, well. Captain Zero's little Zebby. Hello, Johnny. I mean, uh, Mr. Cuba. Uh, good day. Nice to see you. Listen, uh, do something for me. Uh... Slip me into the harbour so I'm not breaking the law, eh? I'll see you all right. I'd love to, sir. Honest, I would. But no I ifs, no buts, Zebedee. I need a tow right now. The wind's making me angry, upsetting me plans. <laughs> Sorry, sir. But you see, Captain Zero's giving me other orders. Listen to me, kid. Zero owes me, understand? So don't get funny or you'll be in deep trouble. And I do mean deep. The gangster told Zebedee to tow him to the old docks that hadn't been used for years, where he'd arranged to meet his criminal friends. I don't like it here, and it's out of bounds to ship and... Too bad. Now I need coal right away, and be quick about it or I'll break your stack. You mean stealers? Did I say steal? Just get it when nobody's looking. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And don't try anything fancy, or you'll find yourself at the bottom of the harbour with cement in your hold. 